letting her the water hole before she's done. We having seen it in April for early in the morning still in the water here. Beautiful looking hippo. Copy that. Uh, I've got a question, another question about giraffe. And uh, the question is from Dawn. Uh, how long do the baby giraffe stay with their mother? And uh, also, the second part of the question is, what are the horns um, that you've talked about earlier on giraffes made of? Is it made of cartilage or some kind of other, some kind of other thing? Thank you. Thank you very much. Question from Don. Uh, how long does the baby giraffe uh, stay with the mother? Very interesting question. All these animals in wilds, nursing the baby it might take most of them from six to eight months up to a year. But it's also defined with the area of operation of the animal itself. When it comes to uh, food, viability of the food, if it is more food, it will be more, uh, it will be a lot more simple and quicker for the youngster when it gets to the age of uh, eight months, it might get relief from the mother. Sometimes it can go up to a year, then get off from the mother. And by that time, the mother might be on Easter soon, release the youngster, or while it's saving the youngster, the, male is go the mother is going to be oestrous and is going to mate with the female. For at least maybe for two, three months, the mother would really separate itself from the youngster and it will be pregnant by that time. And it will take at least for a giraffe. A giraffe and the zebra are and, and, uh, and the rhino, they're almost 16 up to 18 months um, in, on the pregnancy period. So it's how actually the youngster get to follow the mother uh, around eight up to a year. And also it depends on the viability of the food, food around into the area. So I believe I've answered this question. About the horns, what the horns actually made of? Um, to be honest, uh, I'm not sure exactly at the stage but i have to page the book and check it for clear uh, for i mean for the right answer i'm not having a proper answer how it, it made for i want to be honest on that so we are going to enjoy the giraffe here giraffe so, i mean hippo. <laughs> after the question of hippo from don <laughs> i'm still thinking i'm still on the giraffe so we're having a hippo right here Okay, that. Um, we are having a question about the hippo. Um, how the hippo get to sleep in the water? Is it uh, <laughs> uh, sleeping for six months? I don't know for whatever. I didn't catch it clear.
but I have a, a proper answer on that. As you can see, hippo during the day here, hippo doesn't sleep inside the water. They're always getting active inside the water, and the hippo is not a swimmer; it's walking underneath, in 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 I mean, inside the the dam itself. So when it comes to sleeping, in, in um, a very active uh, water hole where it's quite a lot of hippos, you see a lot of hippos go to the bank of a river or a dam and sleep for a day. It could be for hours, it could be for less than that, it could be four hours, it depends also on weather. Not that hippo doesn't need uh, in a hot weather because it's really sounds it might create a lot of damage on the skin. The hippo can die, can suffer and die out of skin cancer from the sun itself. So what happens, hippo tend to be inside the water during the day and chilling out in the water. After that, they head off into the water around late at night and go for <laughs> grazing around into the area. Thanks, Rex, for that answer. Welcome back to Vieco. We, we're still having this hippo, enjoying the hippo in the waterhole. Uh, still chilling out, facing into our direction. It's a single hippo. More background of this hippo has been long time in this waterhole. It has been moved uh, very far or been into the other dams that are around in the area. And this is one of the indication that uh, this male hippo into the area is becoming a territorial blue into specific water wall which is a Befesuk dam. If anything comes as, as far as female is going to join him and live together into the same water wall. Unless if uh, the strong bull come into the area and they fight and push him away and then the new bull take over from somewhere else which it can happen. You will never ever confirm from wildlife because something is always changing in life. So it's a very um, a big bull, as far as we can see, he's not a very youngster, he's an old one. He's been expressed, he's been in a lot of fight into the area. It's very easy to identify him, if you look at the right ear, he's been cut, uh, look like a V-shape into the right one, right at the top. So wherever he goes, it's one of the indication that will know him around into the water that is coming from originally in this uh, Pacific Dam itself or is the one that hangs quite a lot into the same water hole which is a Pacific Dam. Thank you, Jan. Thank you very much for your question. Uh, we really <laughs> get your question clear <laughs> from here. It's very interesting. Um, people are very interested. I don't know which one. I mean, uh, we haven't mentioned the name, but I believe uh, can I mimic uh, the way the hippo calls? Is is a challenging question. Yes, I will do that for you. Very easy. The way the hippo makes a, <laughs> a vocalization. Otherwise, we have to be capable that the hippo is right here. It might be coming off into the water to try to protect itself with the new dominant male coming. So, I mean, uh, are you ready for that? I just want to do this because it will be very more loud. Then I will do it in one, two, three. exactly how the hippo makes vocalization into the area. He might respond on it. As you can see, it's getting more active. Maybe I should have to do it while 